Jesus was a radical social reformer who challenged conventional wisdom about gender and marriage. In this article, we'll explore some of his teachings on these topics and see how they were far ahead of their time. What did Jesus say about marriage? Jesus had a lot to say about marriage, and his teachings may surprise you. For example, Jesus said that marriage is not about two people becoming one flesh. Instead, he said that marriage is about two people becoming friends. He also said that husband and wife should love each other as they love themselves and that they should not divorce unless there is infidelity. Jesus' teachings on gender and marriage are a bit controversial. He said that there is no difference between men and women and that they are both equal in God's eyes. He also said that marriage should not be based on gender roles, but instead on love. These teachings were revolutionary for his time, and they are still controversial today. Radical departure from the norms of his time, and they offer a fresh perspective on these topics for us today. His teachings challenge us to think about what it really means to be married, and what it means to be male and female. We invite you to explore Jesus' teachings on gender and marriage in our blog section. Jesus' teachings on marriage. When it comes to marriage, Jesus had a lot to say. In fact, his teachings on the subject can be quite surprising. For starters, Jesus was very clear that marriage is meant to be between a man and a woman. In the New Testament book of Mark, Jesus is asked about divorce and he says that it is only allowed in cases of adultery. This means that Jesus sees marriage as a lifelong commitment between a man and a woman. Jesus also teaches that marriage is not just about two people being in love. In the book of Matthew, Jesus says that marriage is about two people becoming one flesh. This means that marriage is about much more than just love, it's about two people becoming truly united. So what does all this mean for us today? Well, first and foremost, it means that we should take Jesus' teachings on marriage seriously. Marriage is not something to be taken lightly, it's a lifetime commitment between a man and a woman. Secondly, we should remember that marriage is not just about love, it's about two people becoming one flesh. When we keep these things in mind, we can have marriages that are strong, healthy, and lasting. What did Jesus say about gender roles? There is a lot of debate these days about what Jesus actually taught regarding gender roles. Some people argue that he was very progressive for his time, while others say that he upheld traditional values. So what did Jesus really teach about gender roles? Interestingly, Jesus didn't directly address the topic of gender roles very often. However, there are a few instances where he does speak on the subject. In one instance, Jesus speaks about how men and women are both made in God's image, Genesis 1:27. This shows that Jesus views men and women as equals. Another time, Jesus talks about how husbands should love their wives as Christ loves the church, Ephesians 5, 25-33. This passage shows that husbands have a responsibility to lead and care for their wives. However, it also shows that wives are to respect their husbands. So what can we conclude from all this? It seems that Jesus believed that men and women are equal, but that they have different roles to play in marriage. Husbands are to lead and care for their wives, while wives are to respect their husbands. Jesus' view on gender roles When it comes to gender roles, Jesus was pretty progressive for his time. He didn't buy into the whole men are superior to women thing that was going on back then. In fact, he treated women with a lot of respect and equality. One time, when Jesus was teaching in a synagogue, a woman interrupted him. And instead of getting angry or telling her to be quiet, he actually listened to what she had to say and answered her questions. Can you imagine that happening today? A woman interrupting a man while he's speaking? It would probably cause quite a stir. Jesus also had women as disciples and friends. He wasn't afraid to be seen with them in public or to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. And when it came to his closest friends, he chose both men and women. So what does all this mean for us today? Well, I think it shows that Jesus wasn't concerned with gender roles and titles. He saw everyone as equal, regardless of whether they were male or female. And I think that's something we should all strive for in our own lives. How Jesus' teachings compare to other religions When it comes to gender and marriage, Jesus' teachings may not be as different from other religions as you might think. In fact, many of his teachings can be found in other faiths. For example, like Christianity, Islam teaches that there is no difference between men and women when it comes to salvation. 
And like Judaism, Christianity teaches that marriage is a sacred covenant between a man and a woman. So what makes Jesus' teachings on these topics unique? One key difference is that Jesus taught about love and forgiveness. He said that men and women are equal in the eyes of God and that we should love our enemies. This message of love and forgiveness is at the heart of Christianity, and it's something that sets Jesus' teachings apart from other religions. The Significance of Jesus' Teachings on Gender and Marriage When it comes to gender and marriage, Jesus had some pretty progressive views. In a time when women were seen as property and marriage was more about political alliances than love, Jesus spoke out against these norms. He said that men and women are equal in the eyes of God and that marriage should be based on love, not just convenience. While his teachings may have been ahead of their time, they're still relevant today. In a world where women are still fighting for equality and marriages are often based on financial stability rather than love, we can all learn something from what Jesus had to say on these topics. What does this mean for Christians today? Today, Christians are still grappling with what Jesus taught about gender and marriage. Was he simply affirming the status quo of his day, or was he subverting it? And what does this mean for Christians today? Some Christians argue that Jesus was affirming the patriarchal structure of his day. Jesus' teachings on gender and marriage were actually pretty progressive for his time. He taught that gender isn't really all that important and that marriage isn't necessarily a lifelong commitment. This was pretty radical stuff back then, and it's still pretty radical today. If you're looking for a religion that is accepting of all people, no matter their gender or marital status, then Christianity might be the right fit for you. And that his teachings should be interpreted in that light. Others argue that Jesus was actually subverting the patriarchy. There are several ways that we can know what Jesus taught about gender and marriage. The first way is through the Bible. The Bible is our main source of information about Jesus and his teachings. It is important to remember, however, that the Bible was written by people who were not eyewitnesses to Jesus' life and teachings. Therefore, it is possible that some of the information in the Bible may not be accurate. Another way that we can know what Jesus taught about gender and marriage is through the testimony of people who knew Jesus personally. These people were eyewitnesses to his life and teachings, and they wrote down what they saw and heard. We have several ancient documents that contain the testimony of these eyewitnesses, and we can use them to help us understand what Jesus taught about gender and marriage. Finally, we can use logic and reason to figure out what Jesus probably taught about gender and marriage. For example, we know that Jesus was a man who lived in a time when women were not equal to men. Therefore, it is reasonable to conclude that he would have taught that men and women are equal. Conclusion and that his teachings should be interpreted as a call to equality between men and women. There is no easy answer, but it is important to consider what Jesus said in the context of his culture and our own. As we do so, we may find that his teachings have more to say to us than we first realized.